Public Educator Award is given each year to someone that we see as getting the word out to the larger public in a very effective way. Public Educator Award this year is being given to Dr. Paul Offit of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. My life has been pretty much devoted to um, science. Stories of our childhood often end up as the passions of our adulthood. When I was five years old, I was for six weeks in a chronic care facility, which was at the time a polio ward. This was the mid 1950s. For a number of reasons, my mother and father weren't able to visit me. Frankly, for all the children in that ward, rarely did parents come. And, and um, I remember seeing those children as vulnerable and helpless and alone. I think I, and I always see that. When I was a medical student, I actually uh, rotated through that, that hospital. It was a chronic care facility then, obviously, on a polio ward now that you're into the late 1970s. But that uh, window was still there. And I remember walking over to the window and looking out it and seeing the front door of the hospital and crying. Those scars are permanent. My husband and I were devout lifelong Christian scientists until 1977 when we lost our only son, Matthew, to a treatable illness uh, because of following the Christian science beliefs against medical care. My husband and I made the tough decision to go public with our story. Nobody had done that before or since. Rita started Children's Healthcare is a Legal Duty, Child USA, for the purpose of ending religious exemptions to medical neglect and religious exemptions to vaccination. She's a hero, she was dogged, and it came out of her own personal experience. Rita Swan approached me after I had a case at the Supreme Court, and she insisted I pay attention to children's medical neglect in religious settings. In the United States, there are only five states that require all children to be vaccinated against common childhood diseases. There are 30 states that have religious exemptions that permit children to avoid vaccination because of their parents' religious beliefs. And then there are 15 states that permit parents to keep their children from being vaccinated for religious and philosophical reasons. When you put all this together, what it has meant is that diseases we thought that we had walked away from, like measles, have reappeared. I believe Paul was drawn to our work because of his compassion uh, for children and parents. He advises Child USA on important issues involving children's health and is always gracious and generous with his time and his expertise. Paul had the courage and the stamina to debate these anti-vaxxers in the media. When you choose to stand up in this arena, the arena of making sure that children get the vaccines that can protect them, um, you've entered into a cultural controversy, not, not a scientific controversy. I mean, vaccines work and are safe. It's a cultural controversy. When you choose to do that, suddenly your training as a, as a scientist at some level goes out the window because now you're in a political arena. And when you're in a political arena, things get ugly and mean. And so I've gotten you know, hate mail. I've certainly been physically harassed and I've gotten the occasional death threat. The anti-vaccine movement really was riding high much more so 20 years ago than they are now. And I think in part, it's because the scientific studies have shown that they're wrong. But I think even in greater part, it's because so many people have been willing to stand up against them, to have their voices heard. So I, I do think good science wins out in the end. Paul Offit is eminently deserving of this award. He has done tremendous uh, things in reaching out to the public and educating the public about vaccines and why vaccines are safe and why they're effective. Congratulations to Paul. If you can save the life of one child, it's worth it. Children are important to us and that, that vaccines are important to them and um, vaccines work and are safe and you just can't defeat the science no matter how political you make it. If there were ever a year to honor Dr. Zubin Demania, also known as Z-Dog, this is the year because we are focusing on the facts. And the one thing that this man does and does incredibly well is YouTube videos that are intended to educate the public about public health. We are online on Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube is about to happen. Flu kids, COVID, risk. Why do we get it wrong?
We get it wrong so badly that we misunderstand what risk is, and as a result, we make decisions that are counterproductive. I first heard about him talking to Paul Offit, who said that uh, Z-Dog had asked to interview him, and I said, who? And once I started watching Z-Dog's YouTubes, they're addictive. We have the dark lord of vaccines. The person that the anti-vaxxers hate so much, and the reason they hate him is that he saves lives every single day through communication, through vaccine development, through science promotion, and through being an amazing superstar. Everybody, you're not gonna believe it, it's Dr. Paul Offit. He is out there telling the truth. Uh, and he's just dedicated to saving lives by making sure the public understands the truth about vaccines, the truth about public health issues, the truth about COVID-19. Who do you believe? What do you listen to? Then people are telling you, you're going to die. The cases are going up right now. Look, they're surging. Look at that graph. You know, it's like a parody of Nickelback that I've wanted to do forever. You know, look at this COVID graph. He is a true breath of fresh air in an era in which uh, sometimes you don't know who to listen to. His contribution has been extraordinary in the fight for children because he takes a broad lens and he brings in experts like Paul Offit in order to explain the science to the public. It gave me the flu. That's just not scientifically correct. And this is why. The influenza vaccine is an inactivated vaccine. So it's been killed. It cannot give you the flu. ZDOG got on our radar because we are always looking for people who have a way of explaining complex concepts to the public to protect children. And that is one of his amazing skills. The Public Educators Award this year is going to two men because they work together in an amazing way and they're two forces for good. We are honored to give the Child USA Public Educator Award to Dr. Zubin Demania, AKA Z-Dog, and Dr. Paul Offit. Thank you. First of all, I'd really like to thank uh, Marcy Hamilton and Child USA for this award. It means a lot to me. Um, it's, it's always assumed that, um, that parents represent the best interests of their children, and, and that's often true, but not always true. And when it's not true, because of issues of faith healing, or choosing not to get a vaccine, or child abuse or sexual abuse, um, that's when groups like Child USA stand up. And it's just so such an honor for me to be around such brave people, so consistently brave, and especially to share this honor with Z-Dog MD, who too has been willing to stand up and take the hits that come with standing up. So thank you so much for this award. It really does mean a lot to me. Hi, everyone. Wow, I am completely beyond honored uh, to be given this award, which I don't even feel like I deserve because I'm in the presence of Dr. Paul Offit, who's also getting an award. And he just, if I could just, the guy is amazing for his advocacy for children's health and vaccines, especially when this advocacy, this whole concept of vaccines is under siege. During this COVID pandemic, it feels like it's all come to a head, this idea of anti-scientific thinking, the way we can abuse children through not just neglect, but through false belief applied to these innocent, vulnerable children. And when it comes to vaccines, this is such an important thing because these are preventable illnesses that don't just, you know, injure and kill children. They set an entire precedent for how we think about science, how our future generation will use science as a tool to help alleviate human suffering. And the work that Child USA is doing is so important because it's practical work. It's saying, look, let's work on the law. Let's work on statutes of limitations. Let's talk about things like conversion therapy, which is such a harmful belief-based intervention that, that can really damage young people. These ideas are so important. And so to be, uh, to be recognized for the minimal work I've done in the space, I just stand on the shoulders of people that are way, way, way bigger, like Paul Offit and Child USA that's doing this work out in the world. You know, I'm just a communicator. These guys are actually where the rubber meets the road. So I'm, again, beyond proud to be here. I want to thank everyone who's part of the event that's 
donating to support this wonderful organization and the important work they're doing, especially now, especially now more than ever. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Be well and let's really keep our children in mind because that's who we're working to protect. All right, I love you guys and we out.